on November 3rd, 1947, the Circo Morete de Horabora rolled in from the Basque hinterlands to the tiny Sicilian village of Naroba. Three days later, during the climax of the circus highwire act, a cataclysmic explosion shook the small community. Fingers pointed at the circus clowns, who made no secret of their Basque separate leanings. After a mockery of a trial, the clowns were imprisoned in the clandestine storage rooms of the town's population control clinic, whose very existence was denied by Naropa's devout citizens. Left to sussus on scraps and toys thrown by curious children, the captured clowns devised strange instruments and entertainments. Rumors emerge of a synergy between the muted Monty backs and the fetal remains that lined the walls of Cloud's chamber. These hideous stigmata of stem cells would prance and sing to the music and puppetry of the jailed chestnuts. Some children told of the feti shifting shapes with the clowns and transmuting into one another's tortured forms. Decades and the depredations of grave robbers took their toll on the clandestine complex until only a single clown and fetus was left, endlessly changing shapes with one another. Gone to were all but a few desperate and errant children, and others being frightened away by strange tales. These brave souls, these few brave souls, fed the duel, discarded scraps, and musical instruments, rusty guitars, antique drums, and cheap Japanese sequencers. The remaining cloud and fetus used the horrid sounds that emerged from the long abandoned population control clinics. After years and years of mind-numbing litigation, the clinic was destroyed. Though soil remediation efforts continue to this day. The town's sympathetic Cognoscenti assisted the clown and fetus escaped. After years on the run, it was rumored that they found sanctuary in the depths of the abandoned factory in Vernon, California. It is sad. Their strange transmutations continue even in the 
human form and that the duel persists in their creation of improvised song of the strange events they have witnessed using the pathetic instrument stolen for them by Navrova's children. It is even alleged that there are sound recordings of their efforts and that they are known to emerge out of cover of night to hurriedly entertain homeless people, runaway kids, and the people held prisoners deep in the bowels of the shopping malls of America. We know that some are so hard bitten in their skepticism that not the vision will vanquish their doubts. For that reason, we list protectors of this trio now known as Bones and Fetuses. They have averred that upon a flight request, they will unleash this hideous force upon the night spots of our community to further the masses. <laughs>